the colorist page on Twitter has the black drag queen girls from RuPaul Drag Race in a titsy. And I love every minute of it. Y'all already know what time it is. I got the black bean neck on. So, girl, this has been a very interesting Pride Month. This Twitter account has been having the drag queen girls in a, like, they are, you you know it's bad when you got Bob responding, you got the Vixen, two folks who have been praised to be very knowledgeable when it comes to talking about racism, race, and anti-blackness and all those things. Like, they are, like, you know, they in a tissue because they've been called out, like, hey, Y'all have been people who have been speaking on racism. Y'all have been folks who've been talking about all of these things. And then all of your partners or your previous partners have been white, all of them. And I need for y'all to understand the difference between race and ethnicity. I know it'd be beating y'all up, it'd be beating me up too. But like y'all can't say, that, oh, my last boyfriend was a Latino and then they white. Hello? Like as if Latinos can't be white, hello? So what got all the girls riled up is there was a tweet a, a thread, a compilation of all of uh, the drag queens on RuPaul's Drag Race because listen, listen, I keep saying on RuPaul's Drag Race because there's this idea that oh, black folks are not interested, black gays are not interested in um, black drag queens as if they're like all the girls in ballroom all the trans girls in ballroom all of the uh, folks who participate in ballroom all the black girls who are femme in this whole like genre don't have black partners like I know some folks who are in healthy relationships who are like like but as Terry put it which made the most sense I love this tweet because it was a reminder that it's not the drag queens it's not the black drag queens it's the black drag queens on RuPaul's Drag Race those Ru girls are chasing whiteness and that's, they all in community with each other because they're all chasing whiteness. So of course they're not gonna have any black partners. And I was like, you know what? You making a lot of sense. So the picture had all of the RuPaul Drag Race girls, the black girls with white partners, like all of them. And it had the girls mad. It had them pissed. Like in the first tweet when Bob responded to it, Bob was, you know, well, y'all are worried about my love life. This irrelevant. Why y'all so worried about my love life? Where's your partner? Bob the Drag Queen, who is very talented and very intelligent and supposed to be known for understanding these things, could not understand how bad it looks that all of these folks, all because it's not that many black girls who've been on RuPaul's Drag Race, to be honest. It's not been a lot of, and all of y'all have white partners? Come on now. Something ain't making sense. So Bob had no, like this is a person who has no issue talking about race, but also has no, no issue uh, with a white person using the N word while engaging in sex. There's an audio of Bob the Drag Queen and Monet from their podcast joking about um, another like known porn star like doing um, a, a, some type of scene or something and the, 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 the guy was calling him an n-word and you had you had you had Bob and Monet laugh about it. Oh my god we should reach out to Harlem Hookup. Girl like if because you know because a lot of people like you watch his porn and on in, in the comment section like I can't believe he had that white boy calling him a n I can't believe oh my god this is ridiculous I'm like that is so hot it's kind of hot. <laughs> <laughs> is that horrible? That, that is, is that so horrible? bad. It's kind of hot, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You had Bob and Monet laugh and say it was hot. First of all, no shade. I don't trust any black folks, especially black gay people who say hot. If you say hot, I already know you chase. I know you saying hot, I know you saying cock. And I know if you saying cock and hot, you dating white men. I just know that for a fact. So... I'm not surprised. We it's been a running joke that Bob and Monet don't date black men. It's been a it's been a like a running thing that they don't date black men. But the girls just kind of just you know it is what it is. But that's why I don't understand why they were so riled up because we've been saying that y'all don't date black men. 
So the response from a lot of folks were, what do black gay men date drag queens? Yes, they do. I know some black drag queens who are in relationships with black folks. And y'all are not interested in blackness. And I've been saying that for a moment. I did a video about Simone, um, I think it was like earlier this year or last year, where I talked about Simone in her caricature doing blackness. It's honestly giving blackface, to be honest, but I can't call it blackface because she is black. But she has white people putting together these quote unquote black looks for her. Simone is not no black drag queen that, that is around black folks. Like, she's not like. She's not hanging around black folks like that. Majority of her friend groups, when there's a picture, several pictures of Simone hanging around with nothing but white people. Instead of like tackling the anti-blackness of it all, y'all are so fixated on these scapegoats. Like, well, are y'all dating black fan folks? Uh, and, 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 and then y'all anti-blackness jumps out so quick that y'all can't even smell it. Y'all can't even smell y'all own stench of anti-blackness because y'all are used to it. Y'all were responding a way to make white men look like the prize. Y'all do it each and every time. Oh, well, like, well, black men ain't got their stuff together. The colonizers got their stuff together after they done collected everything except spice and seasonings? Hello? I'm not understanding. How are we talking about femphobia, homophobia, as if these people are not the originators of it? Hello? I'm... <laughs> they created this. So I'm confused. Y'all are okay with racism and anti-blackness with white folks. That's what I'm, that's what, cause that's what y'all are saying. That's what y'all are saying. That's, that, that is what y'all are saying in so many ways. And I just want y'all to be honest with us because we can't stop y'all from dating white men. None of us can stop, like that requires consent. We can't, we can't take that, we can't take that from y'all, but what we can do is name what y'all are doing. And y'all don't even like that because y'all want to still be in these positions to be representation and black girl magic. Hey, Vixen, like y'all want to be the black girls like doing all the other stuff, but y'all are not committing to ending anti-blackness like that. And even in yourselves. So stop trying to parade yourself at the next uh, Lockheed Martin Pride as some type of warrior for, for blackness and, and, and representation when all of y'all are chasing white men. Like, Bob, love you down. Love listening to your podcast. I literally listen to you while I'm at the gym, listen to you while I'm getting ready to do my own content, listen to you and Bob Monet faithfully. But not for a second have I ever thought that your Patreon and your YouTube spaces are spaces that are that are safe for black folks. You made a joke about allowing a white man to call you the N-word while engaging sex. Like you laughed at race play. You thought that was funny. And you thought that was funny because that is who you are. Y'all are doing stuff like that. Because I'm not joking like that around my friends. Y'all joking around and saying that stuff in a space that's predominant. Like majority of y'all patrons are white. 70 probably 70 percent of your patrons are white i'm a patron and there's no there, that space is not even when y'all talk about racism and stuff it's very surface no shade that's why y'all don't know how to respond that's why redacted on twitter is eating you up that's why zodiac air is eating y'all up that's why um kima is eating y'all up in these spaces because y'all don't have the range because y'all have been manipulating and using these conversations in ways that that takes the focus away from what you doing you've been able to say it to make white people feel comfortable and it's and, and you, you've done it so much to make white people feel comfortable then they they feel comfortable dating you because white folks ain't jumping to jumping my bones or interested in dating me because they know what the t is not saying that I would never ever Engage in anything with a white man or a non-black person, but they know that I am authentically black and I'm not out here Watering my blackness down to make white folks feel comfortable and that's exactly what y'all doing now We're talking about your blackness because y'all love to use it an excuse every time folks call y'all out like you're trying to say I'm not I'm not black Well girl considering how many you you got <laughs> you you got to be because you in race play with a white person saying these things so you're clearly black that's all the value you are to these non-black men these white men that y'all are sleeping with hello 
And Bob, to be as intelligent as you are, as intelligent as Bob the Drag Queen is, one of the most influential drag queens on RuPaul's Drag Race, who I have said many times, him and Bob, Monet, him and Bob and Monet, two of the most iconic drag queens, to be honest, are out here engaging and laughing at race play. Y'all have got to be serious. That's why when Kima said in that Twitter space, that y'all are putting us in danger, y'all are putting us in danger. Because when we are on these apps, y'all got white men feeling comfortable saying stuff like that to us. Because they are watching and engaging. They at y'all pride circuit parties. They ain't coming to Atlanta Black Pride. They at y'all circuit parties and stuff. They in LA, they at Blake's with y'all. And they think because y'all allow it that we gonna do it. And they're watching it. So to, to don't try to spin it to make it seem like, well, I can't make it spin. You are an influencer. So you don't think that you laughing about race play will influence white folks to be okay? Like, hello? Not saying that you yourself can dismiss it, but you are definitely perpetuating it. You can't stop white folks from wanting this stuff, but you sure as hell can participate in it and make them feel comfortable. Again, you're making them comfortable and engaging in these things. Because y'all are creating safe spaces for white folks, not black folks. Let's get that clear. Let's get that out the way completely. So stop bullshitting us. Now we move to demonetization. I have already said I'm not even going to monetize this video at all. Because it's not even about that. It's about getting this message out. Because y'all ass be trying to play us. And y'all try to use it. I'm just, I'm just really shook. And you, who, who like y'all pride yourselves at being the most knowledgeable when it comes to gender, with these surface levels as conversations about racism, y'all have got to be fucking kidding me. I'm with her looking ass. And the vixen, who I literally said, girl, I loved the vixen on this episode when she called out Eureka. I loved when, when she called out Eureka and said, hey girl, you gonna have me looking like the angry black girl. Loved it. Was interested in learning more about the vixen. Was interested. And then I started to speak in my circles, who people who watch Drag Race, and they start to let me know, yeah, Vixen is all talk and, and no action because she don't do nothing to sleep with non-black men and white men on her on her um, OnlyFans. And what do you know? I go to her, her, her OnlyFans, and that's all I see. I actually subscribed to you, Mama, for like two months to see what it was giving, just to be see what, I, what, what the tea was. It definitely was giving T, T, E, and W, H, I, period. That's what it was giving because it wasn't giving no black. Me, no black. It was not giving that. It, you were the only black in there. So no, you can't sit up here and pride yourself as this person, spokesperson for racism and conversations and all this other stuff. And y'all get paid bookings and stuff to be the representation for for the the, the, um, the happy Negro. And then y'all out here like being stuffed but non-stop by marshmallows. Like, girl, please go sit down. Stop playing with it. Stop playing with our face. So once again, we can't stop y'all from dating white men. We can't stop y'all from that. That's the work that y'all have to do yourselves. But what you're not going to do is make it seem as though it's not anti-black. It's definitely that. If your last three or four partners have been white, I'm so sorry, sister. That's just what it is. You can't tell me, and, and y'all be using this excuse that, oh, love is love. And I like, y'all can't even respond and say, hey, you know what? Joseph met him, was walking down the street, child. Uh, was looking for a born. I was about to give birth and I just ran into him. Y'all can't even give us a, a sickening story that, you know what? We j I just lucked up. Like, he just so happened to be the person I fell in love with and he just so happened to be white. But y'all can't say that. All y'all have to say is black men don't have their shit together. Black men are femphobic and deal with their own things and I can't date them. When there are black men who do date fems, there are black men who do have their shit together. And as if white gay men literally did not create no fats, no fems. Like, bitch, have you not been on Grinder? Hello? Like, there are the, the what's the names? They are the creators, the originators, the icons when it comes to that shit. And y'all are trying to make it seem like this is something that black gays have by themselves. Yes, black folks, black queer men, Black gay men have some issues. Definitely some things I've talked about. Continuously having conversation with. 
But don't sit up here and play with us and make it seem as though that is the only reason why you're not dating black gay men. You're not dating black gay men because you don't find black gay men attractive. That's what it is. Yes, there are some of y'all who do have non-black partners and white partners who I feel like that y'all do love them and y'all do care about them. And it's more than just, you know, like him, like him being the prize of being a white man. But it's a hell of a lot of y'all asses who are out here chasing whiteness. I see it in y'all likes. I see it in who y'all respond to. Stop. I, even some people I see who've been talking about this, I'm like, girl, don't act shocked. Like, girl, you tell me y'all Tamara card. Y'all Tamara card is maxed the fuck out. Like, y'all Tamara card is maxed. Y'all over limit. The bank is calling you now asking what the issue is. They ask you, is everything okay? Are you out of town? Because y'all have maxed the Tamara card out. Like, girl, you might as well, like, you might as well buy stock in the Tamara card because the way you out here giving them money, you might as well get some type of reward back besides being called the N-word while getting, like, peeing from them. Doing the work would mean for you all to catch the things that y'all are perpetuating and doing. And that's how I know that the work ain't serious for y'all. Because if that was it, y'all would recognize. It would be easy for Bob. You know what? I got some work to do. To, to, to do. Like, yes, my last couple of partners have been white. Yes, Jacob was white as hell and all these other folks. Da, da, da. I got some work to do. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm working on that. Y'all can't even give us that. Y'all can't even give us that. That would have been an easy response because folks would have clapped y'all up. And the nerve of you all to have these white men, these white gay men harassing black gay men about this conversation, y'all are sick. Y'all need to get y'all white, like how, how dare you all, how dare you all allow these white fans to attack black gay men for having a conversation within community? Because we not in community with y'all asses. Y'all don't want us in y'all community. How dare y'all the vixen who dealt with all of the racism from the fandom. White fans. Black fans ain't eating up the black girls like that. It's the white fans eating up the RuPaul drag race girls. And they have had to be called out on the racism on every fucking season that happened on the black girls. And I will tell you this. There's a correlation between the black drag race girls who have black partners and them not having the same mainstream success as the ones who try to perpetuate blackness. Simone, Bob, Monet. And it's not because they're not talented, it's because they don't make white folks feel comfortable. And that's why they're not getting booked for these white ass prides. That's all I got. Y'all tell me what the tea is. I'm finna get into the jacuzzi and enjoy the rest of my trip and break some more chips on my nails. I hope y'all enjoying y'all shit. To the black gays that are out here dating the black drag queens, the black femme girls, we matter. We're doing our thing. Do not let these people try to speak for us. We know what the tea is. They're trying to use us as a scapegoat because they don't value black folks unless it comes with a check.